Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rochelle and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I talk about planning, fragrance, body care, and budgeting and pretty much anything else that I want to talk about. But if any of that seems like something you may be interested in, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button, but don't stop there. Make sure that you turn on your notifications so that you don't miss whenever I do upload. If you enjoy my content, of course, if you're already a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. You are greatly appreciated. So y'all, let's go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, y'all, so we are going to be decorating my April Currently page. See here, I have a sticky note that says I was going to be using the Spring Allure, the Rainy Day Scene, um, the Spring Allure sticker book, the Rainy Day Scene stickers. However, I'm throwing y'all a curveball. I'm not going to be using the Spring Allure sticker book or the Rainy Day Scene stickers. I am still going to be using... Um, a sticker book from that shop, Live Love Posh. And I just recently got back from Go Wild and I want to use the Live Love Posh, Live Love Go Wild Dallas, Texas 2024 <laughs> sticker book. Okay. Um, I want to decorate this page using my Go Wild stickers because that's when I flip back through this sticker. When I flip back through my planner, I will know that, oh, yeah, I went to go wild in April. This is what I was doing. This is how I prepared. This is what I was listening to. This is what I was currently doing. Whatever the case may be, I want to notate that on this page. And what better way to do that than by using this go wild sticker book by Live Love Posh? Now, Moving forward, what I'm going to be doing for my currently pages is I am no longer going to be decorating them at the beginning of the month. I want to decorate the monthly pages towards the middle or the end of the month because I feel that that will be by me decorating towards the middle or the end of the month, it will be more realistic so to speak, because I'll be able to capture what I have been doing, drinking, listening to, you know, organizing, you know, all that jazz. I'll be better able to capture that or to know all that stuff towards the end of the month. So that's what we're going to be doing. Y'all, I am not sure what happened with my audio at this point. So now I'm going to be doing a voiceover which I love. Don't you hear it in my voice? But y'all, yeah, I'm not sure what happened to the audio. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover. I really don't like these, but I'm going to do it anyway because I recorded the footage and I don't want to scrap it. So right now I am just trying to figure out which stickers I want to use. And then I remembered that I needed to go ahead and grab out my planner tools so that way so now I have my um Tombow is that Tombow my correction tape taking out that what was it priorities and something else on the right side of the page I went ahead and marked those off because I do use labels to cover those up because I make my own headers so I'm trying to figure out which color headers I want to use and I'm just showing y'all here that I've grabbed the mojo jojo plans her purple boxes and more because I was thinking about using those but you'll see where I decide on using just the one sticker book the live love posh sticker book and then I'm going to go ahead and use one of the set of labels in this sticker book so as we flip and to figure out that which what am I looking for okay so I decided on I think these gradient stickers here to use as my labels 
So, yep, so I'm going to use one on the left hand side and then one on the right hand side as well. All right, y'all, so before we put down the labels or the headers, I needed to change out my pen. But I got distracted here to tell y'all that my pen pouch here that I got from Erin Condren is a little defective. And so I had to um, make the zipper work by putting a uh, safety pin on it. So yeah, so that's what I did. I'm just showing y'all that um, before I grab my pen out. So I grabbed my Sharpie S gel, which y'all, it writes very, very well. And I'm going to use this pen and put that pen back up and I'm going to write out my labels. So for each of my labels, the first one on the left hand side, that is going to be for my priorities for the month. So I'm just writing out priorities and you'll see where I don't like it. And I'm going to take that up because, yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just don't like that. Um, and so we're just going to pull that up, stick that to the side, trash it. And we're going to put down another label. And then we're going to write priorities the normal way and not try to mimic <laughs> anybody else's signature so or handwriting so we're just going to write priorities in cursive and then over here on the next side on the right hand side that's going to be for my takeaways for the month then next here i'm going to white out uh, the numbers here, the one, the two, and the three, because I'm going to and take out that, was that notes or take notes? Yeah, just wipe all that out. Then I decided that I was going to bring in the bullet points, just like I did for March. I'm going to go ahead and put those bullet points there using the same colorway as I did for the headers. So I'll put those three bullet points down. Then I'm trying to figure out if I want to put bullet points on the right hand side for takeaways, but then I just move on, move on from that. And then we're going to start decorating. Okay, y'all. So I've whited out. Um, the wording that was already on the page at the bottom, I think it was for dates, April Fool's Day, and I think it was maybe Memorial Day. So I pulled out these larger stickers or floral stickers to go across the bottom of the page. So I'm just going back and forth trying to figure out which ones I want to use because I want them to be somewhat the same size or the same height so I'm putting that one back and I'm going to grab another sticker another bigger another larger sticker that will pretty much match the sticker that I have down already match it in size is what I'm trying to say so I'm going to put that one down and then I'm going to grab another sticker I decide on which one it is am I gonna go with this one or am I gonna go with another one uh, which one am I gonna use we'll use this one here I think that one's big enough so then we'll put that one to the side lay it down and then smooth it out and then I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the bottom all right, y'all, so we trimmed the bottom off. I trimmed it off camera because there were some things on the back side of the page that I didn't want um, to be seen. I wanted to keep it private. So I trimmed the bottom of the stickers off to the side. And now I'm trying to figure out which box stickers I want to use 
for my currently prompts. And you'll see here that I'm going to go with the gradient ones that match my labels or my head headers at the top. And then also they match the bullet points as well. So we're going to get this or use this classic style box. So we're going to put that one there and kind of turn it like oblong not have it so straight up and down and then we're going to get the half size box is that a half size box i think it is i'm calling it a half size box and i'm just going to place the boxes down not in any particular order but i do want them to be um, to not be so symmetric so I'm going to shift them and change them up a little bit so you see here I have that box there but you'll notice that or you will see that I am going to switch it up and I'm going to go back to another full size box sticker because so I can't quite figure out how I want that to go and it's not looking right to me as I lay it down but then I get an epiphany and I say, you know what, let me just use another full size box sticker and then use that half size box sticker towards the end. As you see there, so I'm just going to play with it on how it looks, how I lay it down. And then we're going to come up with the right way so put that down not all the way and then I'm going to have to lift up very ever so gently because I don't want to rip my page so now I'm just lay it down all the way lay that sticker back down and then I'm going to put this sticker down once I get it you know at the right height Okay, there we go. So lay that down. And then next, because I need five boxes for my five currently prompts. So now, since I don't have a lot of room and I don't have another full size header box, I am going to opt. I opted to go for the quarter size box. And yeah, I'm just going to stick it right there. I know it looks kind of off. But it's okay. It's okay. It will work and it's big enough for me to put my labels down or my currently prompts down. Okay, y'all. So now I'm going to come in and label my boxes. I cannot see. What does it say? Feeling. So we're going to put that one on top of the quarter size box and just rub that in smooth it out and I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use so what does that say does that say tracking so we use tracking and then in the first size or the classic size box and then I think that says does that, what does that say? Yeah, I can't read it, but I am trimming the top of the sticker because I want it to lay flat. I didn't want to um, have to smooth out the top of the sticker as well. So I think that says drinking. So tracking, drinking, and I think this says doing, and I'm going to trim the top of that sticker also so that way I won't have the scallop or the extra um, clear sticker at the top I'll just have it you know on the bottom of the words then I notice where it said the last sticker I have over there on my wax paper says organize and I was thinking or I said well you know what I needed to say organizing 
so I was like I don't know if I want to use that one so that's why you see I am flipping back in the sticker book because I'm trying to find another sticker that will go in that last box there so I'm looking I can't remember which word I ended up pulling or using for that last box there and my pages have come apart so I have to hold it and so here I'm saying well you know what I want to keep it in the cursive um, writing so I'm looking I'm trying to figure out which one or which sticker I want to use and I think I found one did I find one? There we go. I think I found one. And I think that said visualizing. Yep. That's the visualizing sticker. And what am I doing now? I'm trying to figure out if I really want to use it. So, you'll see that I end up not using the visualizing sticker because I'm trying to put it back then I notice I look at that first at that page there and I'm like okay this is where it goes it belongs in the bottom right hand corner so I'm putting that sticker back and I'm going to grab another sticker um, currently sticker and we found one so I'm going to trim off the top of that sticker because again I want it flat up against the top of the box sticker and I think that says hoping right I think it says hoping so now I'm just going in and flattening out the stickers so that way it looks like the sticker is a part of the page and the box itself all right so now we're going to put uh, we're done with that sticker book and we can put that sticker book away and go on to the next thing which is trimming the excess sticker off the side there and then y'all I'm going to have to come in and write down my currently word and y'all you will see that this is a feat all right so y'all we're going to tackle this currently lettering again and y'all it's not looking too good because I did not scoot over I didn't start the word over to the left far enough and so everything is pushed over to the right hand side but you know what one day I'm going to get it right you know it seems like I may just need to either get that cricket and you know make my own word or find an Etsy shop that custom has the word has a custom script currently because this is not working out for me clearly it's not working out but we're gonna make it work so yeah so now i need to come in as you see i was practicing over to the side i need to come in and just write out currently um on the page here okay y'all so here's my attempt at <laughs> lettering the word currently over currently and I absolutely hate it I hate it but anyway it is what it is it's on the page we got it written down there it's not the end of the world it's mine I own it it's ugly but it's down there so now we're going to come in with some deco and you know put some other decorative pieces on the page here and then y'all you know what we're gonna be done with this page okay y'all so as you can see I put some stars down I put that cowgirl hat down and then I just pulled 
this stay wild sticker but what I'm gonna have to do is lift up this gorgeous cowgirl hat lift that up so that way I can put down my stay wild and then I'm gonna reposition the cowgirl hat so y'all tell me does the stay wild on top of the currently word does that look like it's a bit much I don't know I was thinking to myself while I was saying in or on the video while I thought I was recording that that may be a little a bit much but hey it's down but y'all let me know what y'all think do you think the stay wild words on top of currently is a bit much let me know what you think and then now I'm going to come back in and put down some more stars. Well, this is my first set of stars I'm going to put down. Um, I put the sparkles down earlier, but now I'm coming in with some stars on the page. So that way it's not so plain and I can fill in some white space. And then I'm going to just cut or trim um, a piece of that hat off so that way... I'll be able to put the page back in my planner and I got that done so we got that done there and I think I need some more deco y'all what do you think I think I need more deco okay so put the hat down I trimmed the hat uh, I, not I trimmed the hat but I trimmed the hat, the ex excess piece that was covering up the hole, and then I put down some more of those sparkles. So, but yeah, y'all, um, I think I was telling y'all that those pieces there that I did not use, I'm going to put those back in the sticker book, but y'all, this spread is pretty much done. I'm putting all of my planner tools back in my bag here. And yeah, this spread is pretty much complete. But I wanted to move up or reposition the bullet points because I did come in and put three bullet points under the takeaway or on the takeaway side on this monthly here. And they're not positioned directly across from each other, but it's okay. It's okay. My hat is there, and so um, I wanted to make sure that I had room, enough room to write. But yeah, so y'all putting everything back up. And gotta get that little piece off of the page because I don't know where that came from. I think it came from my wax paper when I was moving it over. But y'all, I am pretty much done with this spread. There's nothing else for me to do. I pretty much only use this one, not pretty much, I only use the one sticker book, this Live Love Posh or Live Love Go Wild Texas 2024 sticker book, and I absolutely love it. You're going to be seeing this sticker book a lot more for me um, as I memory keep in my Go Wild journal journal so i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me over on instagram at just rochelle w and thanks so much for watching bye guys